make too loud a sound. At least not now, not yet. It's not till later we want to be found. It's no longer all about the angel on top of the tree, standing up there as tall as can be. Let's forget that big guy in those bright red threads, with <laughs> Rudolph and Dancer <laughs> pulling him along on his magic sledge. The table is set. 5.25. Soon the fireworks will arrive. The joke in a cracker has to be good. How else would anyone get in the crimble mood? It's important someone looks the fool. They will stand this in their hand, ready to be read. What do Santa's little helpers learn at school? The alphabet. <laughs> what a laugh, Dad'll say. That's incredibly funny. But it's a pun so shocking it makes everyone groan. And along with it will come a bright paper crown neatly folded that Grandpa will settle on his head with a deep, deep frown. The person who holds the most cardboard in their hand will be the receiver of what else falls out, the most useful little gift in the whole wide land. Tiny nail clippers for Gran, or a small screwdriver set for Mum, or a ten-piece jigsaw, never to be won. Oh, and there will be the winner. Fist clenched, hands raised in the air, and someone else will be shouting, Hey, that's not fair! Uh, you used your thumb. I did not, you big smelly. It's happening. It's time. My moment to shine. But what happens if I can't live up to the hype? And I can't give anyone a big old fright? What will I do if in the most important seconds of my career, I succumb to pressure and terrible fear? Me and you must not miss our shot to mark that moment with a well-timed pop. We'll do it with all our might, so I can be invited back again next Christmas night. Three, two, one, together, everyone!